I ask you what Masters players and Platinum, Emerald or Diamond players do differently in TFT, would you be able to tell? You will quickly realize this is a tough question and there is no real answer because it all depends on the player's playstyle. There is a misconception that makes people believe that Diamond players are a little bit better than Emerald players in every aspect of the game such as managing the economy, picking the best segments or using the good items. But the truth is there is a lot of disparity and most players are good at something but they have a clear weakness that prevents them from climbing higher. And that is because we are all specialists in TFT. Pareto's law says we can spend 20% of our effort to achieve 80% of the result we want, but it takes 80% of our effort to achieve the 20% that's left to achieve perfection. In this video, I will show you the most efficient method you can apply to identify your weaknesses and to fix them. To identify your weaknesses, we will use tactic.tools. It's a website I use every day to check stats on many different things on the game to constantly improve myself. So the way you want to use it, you're going to type your in-game name here. You're going to select, of course, the right server. And then you're going to go to last 20 because we really want to see the last trend of your games. And then we're going to focus exclusively today on this hexagonal chart. And this is basically how you will easily identify your weakness. Oh, and one last thing I forgot to say, you have to make sure like you go on ranked so in case you play normal games or any kind of game mode it will not count into ranked because we only focus on ranks to make you climb higher so basically whenever you see something that's a or s then it's good it's really really good and it means that it's probably one of your strengths in the game but if you have something that's rather b like just like here have b with executions it means that that's something that can be improved and this is where we're going to focus today because i can see a lot of profiles rather in emerald diamond gold this kind of stuff where where they have a couple of S or A, and then after they have a couple of B, C, D, or even F. And as you can see, you only need to have a good amount of S and A ratings, and you can already reach Challenger, so why not Master, right? So the rest of the video focuses on each part of the chart and how you can improve to get A or even S. So I can advise you to navigate through the video by using the chapters if you want to focus only on one specific weakness. Let's start with compositions. Having an A or S in composition means you are mostly playing A tier or S tier comp in the meta. It means you know what is strong and you plan accordingly to always end up with a competitive comp. I will be honest with you guys, I think overall the level of TFT players has improved quite a lot. It took me quite some time before I found anyone with a score below A. Even in gold Hello, I see players with an S here in compositions. Maybe because at the time I'm recording this video we are playing on a one month patch so most players know what's good in the meta and what isn't. That could be the reason why. So in case you have less than A, it means you don't play the best performing comps of the meta. Maybe you finished too many times with hard steel on your board or and you simply didn't transition out of it or you like to play real comps but they are overall underwhelming. If that concerns you and you want to improve this then you want to go to the top comps section to find the most played comps but you can also join my private discord where I share weekly meta analysis with the best performing comps and more information such as best headliners, items and tips along the way. It's also a place where I share regularly many comps before making videos about it so you can abuse them before everyone else. To join this discord you have to be a channel member with the link in the description. If you have a bad item or omen rating it means that you are not using the full potential of your comps because you are not giving them the proper weapons. Just like how you don't want to give a soldier a stick and ask him to go to war you don't want to give the wrong items to your most important units and you don't want to pick underwhelming omens. But how can you know what are the best items to build or the best omens to pick? How to optimize them properly and have the best version of your comps. Let me show you a step-by-step -step guide. Once again, we're going to use tactic.tools and let's say you really like to play Jack's EDM because that, that's the comp that you really like to play. So we're going to go to Explorer and here I'm going to switch to basic because I'm paying to have a more in-depth data analysis, but you don't need to have that. You just go to basic and you tap Jack's because that's the unit you want to play. Three stars, obviously, because you reroll it. And you want to go with five EDM because you know this is the win condition. You want to play with five EDM. You can look at the average. You can also choose the rank. I personally like to use either Master Plus or GM Plus. Now, right now we have a very long patch, so I can use GM Plus because we have a lot of data, but you can stop on Master Plus. It's already good because we have like 68,000 games in data, so that's quite a lot of data. And you can see like if you have Jack 3 with 5 EDM, you have a very good average, top four win rate and first place win rate. 
And now the question is how we know which ILM are the most important and which augments are also the best if you play this comp. So it's very easy. You go to items and we're going to go there and we're going to look at the best ILM. So um, one thing that's really interesting to know is like we sort by delta. So the delta means that the more negative it is, the better it is because it's negative because the delta between the average here 3.47 and 2.6 that makes around point minus 0.93 but basically that's it so the more negative it is the better and on the other hand the more positive it is the worse this item is on jacks so basically it means that if you have a jacks 3 edm with the zonia on jacks people have on average 2.6 average place 85 percent chance to finish fourth and 32 almost percent chance to finish first so it does mean that if you can have zonia because the map gives you zonia or you had an augment for that you want to play jacks because it's literally the best item for this comp but if we want to go into only craftable items because sometimes you just don't have access to zonia so we go to craftable items and we look at the best items here and we can see that in terms of average we have jewel gauntlet that's negative hand of justice actually they both go very well together obviously we have giant slayer that's actually nice but let's be careful because Giant Slayer doesn't have even 1,000 games, while here we have 42,000 games. The Gauntlet, we have 58,000 games. So we have to be careful, like, we don't compare the same things here, right? We are counting here uh, just a couple games compared to 42,000. So, and then we have Edge of Night. Doesn't have such a great rating, because obviously Zonia is just better than Edge of Night, but it still has a lot of games and it's still good. So basically, when you play this comp, you already know that you want to have Hand of Justice and Jerry Gauntlet most of the time and ideally you want a defensive item bloodthirster is okay age of night is okay it's not the best it's not the worst but definitely it's never quicksilver for instance it, it's never something like archangel or red buff even if you have a tier and a road don't build an archangel to play jacks because this is not going to be okay and now we can do the same with augments because i know that some people like to just go on augments here and look at the stats but the thing is like augments are always better in certain situations it doesn't exist a normal that's good in every situation and the situation situation you are interested in with is Jack's EDM and so that's the question you have to ask if you play this comp what are the best omens for this comp not the best omens overall but for this comp and here you might be surprised there are a lot of traps and that's what I want you to focus is to sort by place again so we can see easily what are the best omens and also the worst omens that's where I want you to focus because especially in lower elo i feel like a lot of people are getting baited by omens that seem good but actually are not good at all and we can see hedge fund horrible starter kit horrible hedge fund again horrible balance budget horrible even if it gives you more gold so you have more chance to find your three stars it's just horrible good for something horrible then we have prismatic ticket horrible every grab bag horrible yes i know it's weird people say hey i can make three stars with harry grab back but you have to understand that you have an augment that helps you to have a three star but that's it that's your gold augment while on the other hand you can have an augment that gives you a zonia which is the best possible item for jacks we have living forge that gives you zonia we have crashed dummies that helps you buy some time so jacks doesn't get focused too fast we have learning to spell apparently that's pretty good that gives a lot of ap to jacks and all the other edm units as well port upper forge that gives zonia stationary support geo lotus vampirism combat caster because with the edm everyone casts a lot and you have tons of shield so you can see here these are the best omens you want to play if you play jacks and these are the worst so whenever you start thinking i want to play jacks and that's the omen at 3 2 try to think about or even directly go into this website and check which are the worst omens make sure you apply the filters properly and learn this way because little by little you reselect best omens this way so to show you an example here's a profile in uh, emerald that has b tier in items it's not necessarily the worst it's actually okay but i wanted to show you exactly a little bit more about that for instance let's go this one we can see for instance Jin has blue buff and shojin so this is kind of useless he is only one of i mean the best is blue buff so then after you need to have two offensive items we can see like the defensive items are not that great these are not the best defensive items in the meta it's better to have gloves plus armor then we have also other stuff like these are better defensive augments the stuff on israel is okay then we go on Jax. titan is actually one of the worst items i believe on Jax. trinity force i think is okay but definitely not the one you want to play then on lux 
you don't have good items as well you prefer to have like more crit and more ap so basically this is like the only reason why he finishes fourth is because he doesn't have good items on jacks doesn't have the right jacks proc and dogmas on that great as well then after we, if we look at this comp we can see shojin last whisper these are probably the two worst items on caitlin uh, you definitely don't want this you want ie you want red buff you want giant slayer uh, sniper's focus is really good on her so again like uh, we have ginzo which is definitely not a good item at all in this meta so once again he plays jacks but unfortunately he has a titan's resolve if he had something like edge of night he would be much stronger much much stronger it's it's a huge difference here again he has a titan he really likes titan on jacks but like that's one of the reasons why i said like if you play jacks that's actually a good example i didn't do it on purpose but if we look at the items and if we look at titan actually i'm, I'm surprised like it's not that bad but i feel like if you go in gem plus yeah it's a little bit worse so but yeah titan is definitely not an item you want on jacks and so forth and so on so this is a quick example and how you can easily identify like problems like this but you have to go through the data you have to spend a bit of time analyzing on your side just so you can understand how you can optimize this if instead of titan whenever he plays jacks he put edge of night then maybe his average on jacks will be instead of four he will be like 3.6 you know something like this but that's a huge difference in 10 20 games that's a huge difference and that makes you climb higher then after we will go and see someone who has a very bad augment rating so in this, this time we will focus on augments and when i look at all of that i feel like he really likes to pick omens that gives money because hedge fund because golden ticket we have here a uh, team building lucky streak we have patient study silver ticket hedge fund final reserves and stuff like this we have another airy grab bag so basically all these augments i just said in this meta right now they are not good they might be better next patch because there are a lot of changes actually when i'm going to release the video it's going to be on the next patch <laughs> So maybe these omens are going to be better, but for sure for patch 1325, it's not good at all. And because simply you have trying to have more gold, but what's actually good right now at the moment I'm making the video, not the moment when I release the video, what's actually good is to have combat omen, to have better boards, to have more power and win the late games like this. But this might change, of course, in the future. And the only way to know is to constantly look at data and see what the best players are picking and what makes them win and what makes them lose and here omens like golden tickets prismatic tickets hedge fund all of that are more like omens that don't make you win basically so now if you have a bad rating on economy it's a little bit trickier and having a bad rating doesn't necessarily mean you don't optimize your gold generation properly and you don't know how to streak or you don't know how to make interest gold the way it is calculated is simply by taking your board cost and assessing whether it's expensive or not for a late game board and there are many reasons as to why you can finish up with a bad rating after a game for instance you played the reward comp and didn't hit your three stars you didn't hit your late game units because you were contested or you actually didn't manage your icon properly but also you can play s tier comps that are cheap because it doesn't require three stars or many late game units i'm thinking of ari sentinel for instance but but the truth is if you feel you never hit your units consistently then it usually means you are not generating enough gold to hit them there is a way to optimize your economy to properly cap out your board and you might make one mistake that most players below grandmaster make i dedicated an entire video to go in depth and you can actually click it and watch it later also we just had a huge patch that that is changing completely the way we are building economy and once the meta stabilizes a little bit i will make an updated full guide so make sure to follow this channel if you don't want to miss it all right once again we're going to use an example of someone who's emerald and has a d rating on economy so there are a couple of reasons as to why we can have this we have here 100 gold so actually okay we have 92 gold 82 gold 61 gold that's really low 44 gold for this board that's very low 40 gold here 49 gold so basically what i want to say is there's another indicator here is like just like we saw earlier he really really likes to pick omens that give gold or to play our seal like here we have five hard seal plus two augments that give gold in this situation like five hard seal plus two augments that give gold like why his board is only 100 gold like here he has level up plus hairy grab bag why this board only caps at 92 gold here we have lucky streak plus tiny titans but he's level 10 and his board is so cheap so again maybe 
maybe he should have stay level 9 and remove a lot of low cost units and buy more like 4 cost 5 cost units to cap the board properly so maybe he wasted too much gold on XP that's also another way to have a low econ rating but what I would like to say is like most of the time he picks omens with economic advantage but at the end of the day he doesn't transform this advantage into a bigger board because if you're picking econ omens great you have more gold but the only way to make it worth it is to transform this gold into a board that's actually better than others because if we have the same board as someone else but he picked only combat augments and i picked only economics he will win 100 of the time because he simply has more strength than i do so the only way to win against him is to have a board that he cannot achieve just because i have more gold and that's the problem of this player he picks augments that gives a lot of gold but he doesn't know how to translate this gold into a better late game comp what could he be doing wrong i cannot watch his game so i cannot tell exactly but i have a couple of assumptions i believe like he maybe pushes too aggressively meaning that he loses on interest gold he maybe doesn't try to move, cap his interest gold as much as possible and sometimes he roll too much that's also another mistake and what we saw also earlier he pushed probably way too much like one or two times we saw him pushing level 10 but still having a weak board so he could have saved that gold stay level 9 and have a much better board rather than pushing level 10 and have like 20 gold to roll for almost finding nothing execution is kind of the result of everything it will take the average place of the comp you are playing with the stats and compare it with your score so you can get an s score if you play meta comps and finishing often first or second or you can also get a s rating if you play many non-meta comps and often finish fourth or better but it can also mean something different. Maybe you play the S tier comps with the best items and augments, but you still didn't manage to have a good score and this can come from positioning problems or maybe you didn't manage both your health and your gold properly. One cool thing about execution is that if you improve in everything I just showed earlier, meaning items, augments and econ, your rating will automatically go higher because you will simply get higher scores on average. So once again, I wanna show you a profile that could be like yours basically. If you feel like you have something similar to this if you have a low execution then we can look at exactly what happened for you to get this so let's look a bit at his games he's definitely playing Ari he's playing Ezreal he's playing Jin AD Flex he's playing Reroll Samira so we can see he's playing good comps but let's look at it again like Ari you don't play with Sentinel you play with KDA you have bad items really bad items for Ari you probably have Akali Headliner because she has a hand of justice with super fun that's not a great final comp and that's why he finishes seventh I guess also we can see like he had hedge fund but his board isn't great he doesn't have good augments here he has buried treasure and instead of building one tank and two carries he decided to build two tanks and one carry which is is really not good at all you want to have one tank and two carries it, like for instance instead of the items here on Ezreal he had three items on Akali he would be much much stronger again that's execution he has a good comp but he didn't slam the good items even though he has the omens to make the best items possible he doesn't have the best version of the comp so it's all about execution right even here like for instance i would say he finishes first but it's not perfect like he has last whisper and even shroud so last whisper it kind of useless i would say if he had red buff blue buff instead of shoujin here he would have a much much better board but here it was enough to finish first so once again it's all about execution how you can optimize at the maximum possible your comp and how you execute it and this is all about having good omens good items managing your account properly and if you have all of this good then execution will go higher as well because obviously it's just a consequence of all of this and finally we have flexibility flexibility is probably the least important of all i would prefer you to have an a or s in everything and a D in flexibility rather than the opposite. It's often better for you to focus on mastering to perfection two or three maximum comps so you can climb quite high with them rather than being average with 10 different comps. Just like how you don't want to build a roof before building the foundations of a house, you don't want to explore too many comps before you build your TFT fundamentals with your two or three favorite comps. I suggest you to focus on learning more comps only if you are already high diamond or master because you don't necessarily need to be flexible to climb Challenger. And for that, I want to show you an example of someone who's challenger in Brazil and has D inflexibility, but very good composition items and augments, econ and 
execution could be better but i think it's because when you play always the same comp there are games where you just can't hit you will be contested and you can't do better than that so as you can see he's only playing ari ari sentinel ari sentinel everything is ari sentinel but he's just so good with it first of all the comp is strong is the strongest comp of the meta when i'm making this video so obviously if you want to otp a comp that's meta right and then after he's just so good with them he knows what omens to pick he knows exactly how to manage the economy he knows when he should be win streaking loss streaking to get even more gold he knows also what items he needs to build he knows also who he needs to hold the items in priority i can see sona always having ginzo shojin ari always having almost the best possible items a blue buff gunblade best is natural stools but here he has red buff which is okay he has trinity here which is okay he really knows how to optimize this comp to the perfection and another thing i want to say he has low econ but let's look at this this comp is freaking cheap like you finish first with the comp that costs 71 gold most of the time you want to finish first with the comp that costs more than 100 gold so this comp is freaking cheap and that's why also economy isn't that high but that's not an issue for him it's just because he's playing a comp that's cheap that's it but he really knows how to play because he can uh, hit all the time except this one but he hits all the time so he knows how to manage the icon he knows when to roll he knows when to stop rolling and he has the fundamentals that allows him to be a challenger with this comp because if you don't have the fundamentals even if you otp ari sentinel when he's strong it doesn't mean you will get challenger because this comp is good but it's not enough to cover your weaknesses if you have with this macro analysis you should know what your weaknesses are and how to improve efficiency to climb higher and higher however if your only weakness is the economy which is probably the hardest part to fix i already made a video where i exposed one mistake almost everyone below grandmaster is making and i highly recommend you to watch it because i'm convinced this can open your eye or something you've been missing all this time until the next video see you at the top of the ladder